Guy P's in attendance here tonight for the Rockets uh, senior management team, including the Rockets president of business operations, Gretchen Shear. They're in town for league meetings and taking in the ball game tonight. Spinning baseline, Shin good for the dunk. That was pretty happy. He waited until there was no help there for the Heat. And Which has off. been rare. And they, yeah. They've been sending a lot of help. So it's now only a two-possession game. Getting very interesting. Hey, man, Rockets right here in this game. Oh, Hero gosh. got fouled and made the shot. Hero been hitting those leaners, and Alpi again, excellent. Staying with the roller, but that help has to be off the nail here. So Tate gets there, just a little bit behind. And Fourth on Tate. I guess he's got to get his place to land. Not much of a foul, but I guess he's got to land somewhere. 25 and a half per game in his career against the Rockets for Hero. Highest scoring average. We talked about this earlier against any team, and guess what? He's got 25. On brand. That's a three-point play, too. Yes, that kind of hurt. But, but the Rockets doing a good job taking away the three ball, making him hit those leaners. That's a tough shot. You got to respect Hero. Not an easy look. And going on out of bio, he forces it wide of the lane and a wedgie. That time out of bio just kept shading him further and further away. He did, and let's see this. And Shingun trying to go bank there. Good defense from out of bio. So we're going to have a jump at midcourt. Out of bio won the one to begin the game. Is he ransom doing the honors and the Rockets come away with it this time? Van Fleet. Huge possession right here. Shingoon for three. Nope. That, that's the thing. That three ball has gone dry in the second half. That's why if you're the Rockets, you don't want to rely on it, but it's tough. That's what the Heat give up. Yep. Spole's going to play the percentages. Better job taking away the three ball in the fourth quarter. Green with the board. Two minutes to play. Rockets down oh, nine. Goodness. Van Vliet, some contact, threw it up, missed it, but he'll get two free throws with exactly two to go. Nasty move there from Fred Van Fleet, and the free throw line is your friend in these moments. And Robinson has just fouled out. Duncan Robinson oh just fouled out. That was a yeah. yeah. Got the big man there, dancing a little bit. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> threw it out. <laughs> So that's one less three-point threat on the floor for the Heat. As Robinson again is fouled out. Van Fleet to the line. Lowry, yeah, Lowry hasn't come back. Hopefully no, he's okay. That wrist injury. He's been back out there, but has not been back in the game. Mm -hmm. Kyle's so tough. Or the hand injury or yeah. something. We haven't been told anything. Who knows how, how crazy that, that wrist is because he, he's going to be out on the bench not complaining. But you see he's tucking, looks like the left wrist. Hopefully he's okay. Kyle's tough anyways, you know that. Jimmy Butler looking very comfortable. And that's the thing about the Heat. That's their culture. It's something the Rockets are building. Whoever's healthy for them, it, it doesn't matter. They are they are tough to play against. So Van Fleet at the line. Yeah, Miami, interesting season. You know, last year they were pedestrian in the regular season, 44 and 38. Loss of the Hawks in the play in the initial play and beat Chicago in the play in for the eighth seed. Beat the Bucks, upset them in five games in the first round, the first play in team in NBA history to win a playoff series. That beat the Knicks in six. Beat the Celtics in an epic series, in a seven game series. Now, they almost blew that series, but they won that series after leading 3 0 and then ultimately lost to Denver in the finals four games to one. And this only the second eight seeded team to make it to the conference finals. But uh, yeah, this Heat team, again, the ultimate plug-and-play uh, team in the league as Hero ends up knocking down the corner three, and they're back up ten. Yeah, yeah that three ball has absolutely gone dry for the Rockets here in the second half. Yeah, they're staying with the roll. And, and now they're going to need a lot of help. Down ten here with 80 seconds to go in a game to skip. Richardson turned back by Tate. Well, that was partly Miami's mindset, excuse me, Milwaukee's mindset, and the Rockets did a good job burning Milwaukee in the pick and roll. Rockets got a hurry. 
And they got to make some shots. They got to make threes. Green lets one go. Still only three made threes in the second half of the Rockets. After shooting it so well from deep in the first half. I want to remind everybody to please stay tuned for Rockets postgame. Presented by Jack Daniels. So Rockets get this uh, six-gamer underway tonight in Miami. Tate was just called for his fifth. And uh, you got Kevin Love walking the other way. And Miami right now very much in the driver's seat. I mean, the Rockets, there's been, well, there's been what, three lead changes, three ties in this game. Miami's held the lead for about 95% of the way. Rockets came back to tie it at halftime. And after a bunch of fouls the other night against the Bucks, the Rockets have been called for 30 more here. Rockets, of course, are amongst the most highly whistled teams in the league. Third in fouls per game at 21.7. That number will go up. Got the Bulls on Wednesday. Chicago has been playing a lot better. And Shingun now with 22. Rockets need a lot of help. A See lot. If they can maybe get a steal uh, no. or a trap. Of course, a turnover. Miami just playing keep away. Yeah, Rockets probably just going to play this one out. Out of bio. Nope. Left it short, but got fouled. He's had a tremendous second half after being in foul trouble and pretty much ineffective in the first half because of it. And Shingun just picked up his sixth, and he's fouled out of the game. So Miami about to go to 21-15 and 15 on the year and 10-6 and six at home. Rockets are about to go to 18 and 17 on the year and 3 and 11 on the road. There are some tummies against Chicago. Has been playing much better. We got a second night of a back-to-back -back in Boston. They haven't lost a home game. That's not going to be a walk in the park. We got the Sixers. The Sixers already beat the Rockets, and then a game against. The New York Knicks at Madison Square Garden. And New York has been playing really well, especially since the trade with Toronto. It's so, no easier. This is the most competitive we've ever seen the NBA. <laughs> Next five games for the Rockets. There are no more. You know, those, those gimmies are rare. And hats off to the Rockets. They have taken care of business. Outside of that Spurs game, the games they're supposed to win, they, they've won them. They've handled their business. That's the thing about the second half. You know, the Rockets got some good looks that were right on line that they missed. Just their fourth made three of the second half. But yeah, Bam out of bio. 18 second half points, 10 in the quarter, 22 for the game. And they're going to win this thing as they dribble it out. And they will beat the Rockets here as they start a homestand of the Rockets begin their road trip to final 120 to 120. 